Okay, so as I told you in the last video, I was gonna do a second one with the cool yellow and the cool blue so that you could see how I go through that process. Um, so I have my brushes, they're clean, they're dried from the last video. We're still using the same yellow. Um, and I'm going to, again, load my paintbrush up with the yellow. And I'm going to paint nine swatches as I go. Yes, I have a lot of yellow on this paintbrush. It does not take a lot of paint to do this project. Some students in class actually um, use a lot of paint. It doesn't take that much. Those of you at home, if you're using paint that you got at school, of course, if you run out, you have to come get more. So try to, don't add water to the paint. That's not what I'm wanting you to do. We're not trying to create watercolor. So if you need more paint, let me know when you're coming by or when you would like to come by and we'll set something up, okay? Okay, so I've got my nine swatches. Notice how I'm kind of going two different directions just to make sure that there's enough paint on here. Okay, I'm gonna wipe that extra off. And now I'm going to go to the cool blue, which is the darker blue. Load that up. dots the more dots you do because there's not a lot of room for paint on the end of this round paintbrush you do have to go and dip it more so that's why I'm going back pretty much every time and dipping uh, Every time I change swatches, sometimes multiple times, especially when you get down to these ones that have a lot of a lot of dots in them. Also, I'm kind of turning my brush because you might get all the paint off of one side and not off the other. So, um, Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna wipe the extra off of the blue. I'm gonna put the blue down because again, if you mix with the brush that you did the dots with, it's going to become extremely blue. Um, on this one, it would have been red. Uh, remember, yellow is a very light color, so light colors, uh, dark colors tend to take over light colors really fast, and I don't wanna do that, so. All right, so I'm gonna mix this one. You should see a subtle change in that second one, but not a huge difference that you will start to notice. Now, as we go down the, the list here. Now, I can already tell that one I'm gonna have to go back and add dots to. Okay, so remember how we do that. I'm gonna load my paintbrush up, because what's gonna happen is when you submit, if you submit this for approval, I'm not going to approve it, because this one is wrong, okay? So, I'm gonna add a dot. I'm gonna add two dots, because those are, this one is slightly darker than that. Three dots, four dots, and five dots. Okay, remember I'm gonna wipe off that blue because I just mixed off that bottom, so it's got a lot of blue. Or mixed off that bottom swatch, it's got a lot of blue on it. Remember, I've gotta work fast because that blue's gonna dry and what's gonna happen if you go back and try to do it while it's drying and you're not working fast enough, it's gonna look really blue. And then some people, even in my students in class, have been tempted to put, 
been tempted to put water in it and it doesn't work that way. So, okay, just kind of mixing out some of those places I mixed. So once again, I'm gonna put my paint brushes in the water to be cleaned and I should have light to dark, okay? Now remember the first one, I have to approve you. Say yes, you're good. You, if you can recreate that one again, you're good to go to the second one. Now one thing that you will have to do on your final paper is you are going to have to label them. This one, just like it's labeled on the color mixing chart papers, okay? I'm gonna have to put number one, I put cool yellow with cool red. The second one, cool yellow with cool blue. Number two, if you do not number them, I am not going to count if you have 23 of them. I want to be able to quickly look and make sure that you have them in order, okay? Uh, as I'm grading them because 194 students times 23 little columns is a lot to grade. So I need to be able to go quickly through these. If I send it back to you, I may say number them or I'm not grading it. Or number them or I'm taking points off and it'll be a lot of points off because if I have to count them and go through, that just means I have more time uh, taken away from somebody else. So that's your basic um, uh, color mixing chart. As I mentioned before, there's four pages of the different colors. The first page is pretty simple. You're not really mixing anything on here. Um, when you get to the second page, you will be mixing to make different colors, and I'm gonna do a second video uh, to explain that so, um, so that you understand what I'm, what I'm wanting. So, um, okay. If you have any questions, like always, email me. If you need to Zoom, come up here, let me know. If you need more paint, let me know, um, and we'll schedule times. All right, thank you.